How's it going everybody? Hope you're having the most wonderful day as always. I know, I know that we all have busy lives. There's so much going on and technology helps us get even more and more done. But please, please be careful out there. What am I talking about? Hold on, I'll tell you, it's crazy. Now what I am about to tell you is not the first time that it's happened. I know, I understand that. But it's becoming more and more prevalent the more and more technology evolves and the more and more that it becomes readily available so that you and I can purchase it. What am I talking about, you may be asking. Tesla, specifically in this case, and the automated car. I'll have to look it up, but Tesla themselves, I don't know if it was the lawyers, uh, Elon Musk, whoever, put it in on their website. You know, these cars, although they can drive themselves, in other words, an automatic drive car, they are not truly autonomous where you can just, you know, set it to where you want to go and hop in the back seat and take a nap till you get there. They clearly put it on their website, and that's just to cover them. So it's kind of a sticky situation. But here's the story of what happened. There's a doctor and i'll put i'll insert the news clip in the video and you can read it for yourself or read part of it anyway and i'll also include the actual news coverage at the end of the video so the property of that video belongs to said channel said news organization but i'm going to go ahead and put it in so you can watch the actual report rather than just me telling it but here it goes there was a doctor he was on his way back home he lives in north carolina works toward closer to the beach but he lives in Raleigh okay I'm not gonna give you all the details and everything because like I said get it out of video in a news store but what happened was he was traveling on highway 64 like I said heading home after a day of work you know this is a doctor like I said doctor keep that in mind what is he doing he is watching a movie okay a movie while his car is on automatic pilot so he's going down the road, minding his own business, enjoying whatever movie he's watching. And we still don't know what movie he was watching, so that is the biggest kicker. You know, what was he watching? It was so interesting. But what happens is, he's going down the road, there was a cop pulled over on the side of the road, a deputy sheriff, I believe it was. He was actually trying to barricade the road, block it off, because there was a previous accident in this location that a highway patrolman or state trooper was investigating so they were going to shut the road down while they did their investigation luckily luckily the autonomous the automated car or the driver don't know which hits the brakes pretty hard the highway patrolman hears the brakes squealing i mean the tire squealing pushes the deputy sheriff out of the way just in time as the tesla rear ends the deputy's car which then pushes it forward into the highway patrolman's car yes 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 we are so lucky they're so lucky number one the driver of the tesla could have been killed number two the deputy sheriff could have been killed number three the highway patrolman could have been killed over a freaking movie and somebody not wanting to do what they need to do okay like i said we don't know the biggest part of the story which is the movie but here we are we're talking about a doctor you know people will argue that it's different because a doctor studies medicine he doesn't study how car operates he doesn't study how to rebuild an engine that has nothing to do with it for a person to be a doctor he has to have some common sense up here okay or her you know whichever in this particular case we're talking about a male driver i believe i'm pretty sure yes male driver he has to have a little bit of common sense up here number one to learn what he's trying to learn to become a doctor so he can take all the tests and all the criteria get his licensing and all that but to retain it to be able to retain it I'm at the point now I could barely remember my drive home much less remember to be a doctor I mean you know come on really this guy is supposed to have some common sense he's supposed to be smart driving a car or letting the car drive itself 
while watching a movie and I know what his excuse is going to be I know it happens with everybody that does this and has these cars well officer I wasn't driving the car was driving and that's not gonna cut it because that's what I said at the beginning of the video Tesla themselves put it in there that you must still maintain control of the vehicle for lack of better terms without being a direct quote okay it's just a sort of a paraphrase but yes you have to maintain control of your vehicle at all times on the roads so I don't remember the I don't remember all the charges but it it could have been a lot worse you know second degree murder or manslaughter or whatever two counts of that but I think he was charged with watching a TV device while driving and something else like that like I said I'll put everything in for you but I just I just seen this and I was like I have got to make a video on this this is getting so out of control we are forgetting who we are what we are doing how to actually live and breathe and walk among civilized nations civilized people due to technology you know I I don't even have my cell phone, it's in the house. When I get home, I take my cell phone in the house, I put it in my drawer with my wallet, and it stays there until I need it. But we're getting so attached to technology to where we just forget what we're doing. It is unreal. Unreal. So I'm going to leave it with that. I just wanted to get that out there because a lot of you might not know it. It happened here in my home state of North Carolina, about three and a half hours away from in Raleigh. So I really wanted, took interest in it, and I really wanted to get it out there for you. But man, come on, be safe out there. I know it's busy. I, I know you're busy. You've got, most of us have kids, soccer, football, skating, ballet, ballet you know, gymnastics, whatever. Got to cook, got to clean, get the kids in, you know, homework done. All the, just, is all of that. And what I mean by all of that, your significant other and your children, is it worth watching a movie going down the road and letting the car drive itself? Is it worth flying down the road, zigging and zagging in and out of traffic because you're in a rush when it's only really going to save you five to ten minutes anyway? Is it worth losing everything? Everything over that? Come on, really? over getting there five ten minutes quicker is it really worth that i don't think so if you think so um we live in two totally different worlds my friends <laughs> so i'm gonna get off here i'm gonna insert the video clip from the news so you can watch that and hear the exact details and everything and please be safe out there get out there and enjoy those cars without killing yourself because i want to see you here again i love talking to you guys and gals and we'll see you in the next one take care thanks for watching Troopers say this smashed up Tesla was in autopilot mode and the driver was watching a movie on his cell phone when he crashed into a deputy's cruiser. It's very reckless and it's disturbing to me. I push drive and drive on. Sheriff Keith Stone says the deputy was conducting a lane closure overnight on US 64 near Spring Hope as a highway patrol trooper investigated a separate crash. Both the deputy and trooper were outside their cars. Luckily, a state trooper pushed our deputy sheriff out of the way when he heard the tire squalling. And, you know, within an instant, we could have lost a life or several lives. It could have been very horrific. Even though the driver, Dr. Devander Coli, had the car in autopilot, Tesla says, quote, current autopilot features require active driver supervision and do not make the vehicle autonomous. There needs to come a time that we need to understand that automation cannot do everything. It's not enhancing our safety and in this situation it could have killed two law enforcement agents. Sheriff Stone says the crash serves as a lesson for all drivers. Your fingertips determine the life of a lot of people that you're meeting on the highway. He's thankful no one involved was hurt. It's just good that the Lord was with us last night.